Stephen, and welcome to Fraser Park in Lower Hutt for the resumption of the ISPS Honda Men's Premiership after the Christmas break. And coming to you on Sky Sport next, it is the Wellington Phoenix Reserves sitting fifth after the opening six rounds with a two win, one draw, three loss record, taking on Canterbury United. Can't quite find Rainbow, but it runs through to Bidwa. Now opportunity at that back post. That curling effort comes in from that edge of the area. Rainbolt. Bark. Rainbolt with the cross. Now opportunity for Old. Old's first shot is blocked in the header. Tipped over the bar spectacularly by Danny Knight. And a save that had to be made. Second corner for the Phoenix. This time they deliver into the box. Comes to the top of the area. Sizing up the opportunity are the Phoenix. And it's Oscar Van Hattem. Back in the starting lineup, Van Hattem. And finishing brilliantly. Looking to just float this one into the area. And Canterbury United equalised with an own goal, I think it was. Finn Sermon, who I think came up with the important challenge just moments ago. But this time, unfortunately, finds the back of his own net. Coughlin was waiting. Important touch by the Phoenix. Coughlin, though, back with it. Looked like to pull the trigger with the left foot. Off the post, I think it was, from Coughlin. Minutes here at Fraser Park. As Coughlin will again try his luck from effort. Wasn't quite able to get complete connection on that one South African big collision just on the edge of the area Canterbury United look to profit tongue with the cross comes as far as to Gucci great save by Paulson by Canterbury United but now the Phoenix reserves have an opportunity it comes to the back post of the skipper Mog sets it up for Toomey oh, it's like they had too much time in the area, Morgan had space at the back post, the skipper. Player harassing him, they managed to play their way out of it. Rainbolt holds up play momentarily, then switches play out to the left-hand side with Bark has time to weigh up the cross. Toomey, his touch put. Rainbolt, who's one-on-one -on -one with his opposite. He can't shake him off though. Finds Bark. Bark with the shot left footed. It was on. He had a bit of space, did the left back Harry Bark. Made a good run into the area. But unable to find the target. Wide of the near post. And not of the area. Coglin, who's now into the box. Has to be smart with his challenge there. Does Bark. Stays on his feet. Coglin with the cross. Looking to find a telling ball to Coglin instead. It finds its way to Gucci. To Gucci. To Delaney. And Delaney just lent back on that one. Wasn't able to get his head over the ball. Oscar Van had him in the 21st. And then an own goal. And coming off Finn Sermon from a Canterbury United corner in the 23rd. Here's an effort from distance. Hillis was dead to shoot. He said, why not? From 20 out, forced a top draw save from Danny Knight and goal. Coming forward is Mitchell this time. Finds Cretian back to Mitchell, but I think Cretian was offside, just straight offside. Up to nothing, but now it's back to Canterbury United. They're in the area. King with left foot and shot. Look into the back post to bend it inside. And from our viewpoint, was not far away. Head and hands from George King. I think he knew he had a chance of potentially scoring the winner there. And find Old, Van Hattem, Rainbolt, back to Van Hattem this time, right-footed effort from the top of the area. Get away, and now they have it back through Rodwell. Rainbolt has the overlapping runner in Van Rysel if he wants him, but will he shoot himself? Right-footed shot coming in. It was a tame effort. Wasn't able to get the contact he wanted. Rainbolt as he's become increasingly influential 
in this game. And that is it. It's another stalemate. He's second of the season for the Wellington Phoenix Reserves. It has finished one a piece in the first match of 2021 in the ISPS Honda Men's Premiership. Round seven action here at Fraser Park in Lower Hutt. Yeah, we, we come here for three points. Um, but they, they took it to us, they, they, they played well. Um, and we, we battled well for, for a point there, so we're, we're going home relatively happy. Yep. Um, we just said earlier in the season they'd be the sort of games that we'd cough up at the end and lose, so um, there's definitely an improvement there, so yeah, we're, we're happy with a point today. Thanks, mate. Yeah, look, obviously it was it was a good two weeks off, but we, we were straight back into our work and really looking forward to our home game here at Fraser. Um, and yeah, today it was a bit, of a bit of a slow start from us and then we sort of built into the game a bit, but it still wasn't good enough by our standards, so at half-time it still needed a few more levels up. Um, in that second half, we just we just wanted to come out and keep the ball higher up the pitch, which we did. But we were just we just couldn't quite break them down today. The keeper made a few stunning saves, and yeah, we just lacked that finishing bit, that clinical bit.